Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Bowling Green by Jeffrey B. So we're gonna go with the presentation. The bottle looks a lot like every bottle that brand is just normal with a little label on top. This one is transparent, unlike gray flannel that is opaque and it's really really basic but it's it's perfect the bottle is good it looks good quality and the yeah, end it's what's inside that's important and also it's cheap so worst the bottle looks on a cheap perfume the more the budget was into what's inside of it so i think it's good the box really looks nice it's really special it's really different than what we're used to seeing the other brand there's a little thing that says be careful in the ingredient. There's this under, it says Jiffy Bean on top. And I'm gonna open the box, show you inside, cap. And it's a big, really thick tube of cardboard. I think it wouldn't like protect it in the bottle if you drop it. But if you put something heavy on it, like up to a certain point, it will probably protect it. So let's go with the smell. First note I'm picking up, straight from like the paper really far, just in the air. There's some herbal note, it's hard to say which one exactly. And there's lemon verbena that is really present. Like this, it reminds me a little bit of the Recal Noir. Also when I wear it, there's no soapiness like in the Recal Noir, but reminds me a lot of the Recal Noir. Not the whole time, just like some part of the fragrance it reminds me that I can't know. In the opening, it reminds me a little bit of L'Homme by Versace. Picking up some lemon and bergamot. I'm picking up the lemon verbena, of course. I'm picking up the cloves. I think I'm picking up the juniper berry, but it's barely. Picking up a little bit of the orange also. And that's about it. On my skin, what I'm picking up, there's a lot of lemon. I would say the most dominant note is lemon and lemon verbena. Though in the opening, it's more the lemon and it turns a bit more herbal as it goes and it becomes more lemon verbena, especially in the heart notes. Picking up also the cloves, some bergamot and some orange. And in the opening, that's pretty much what I'm picking up. In the dry down, I'm picking up some lemon verbena that is the most dominant now a note in the heart notes. Picking up also some oak moss at that point. I'm also picking up some nutmeg and some artemisia. In the base note, I'm picking up still some oak moss. The lemon verbena is gone. And other note I'm picking up is rosemary and coriander. And the coriander is pretty intensive, I would say. It's the most dominant note in the dry down, maybe along oak moss, but depending at what point in the dry down, I would say it's the coriander. The coriander stay really up to, to the end. And there's also the note of fear that I'm picking up in the dry down that I was gonna forget to say. Longevity is pretty good, seven to 12 hours, and the projection is average, a little bubble around the around me people were able to pick it up and for the complete note breakdown top notes are lemon bergamot orange juniper berry clove fruity notes basil and vetiver heart notes are lemon verbena lavender oak moss pine tree needles nutmeg sage artemisia cardamom jasmine and cinnamon and the base notes are oak moss fir rosemary patchouli cedar sandalwood coriander Geranium, Amber, and Brazilian Rosewood. It's really huge, no breakdown. A lot of these, I cannot really pick it up. Maybe somewhat in the background for some stuff like the Sage. I even said it because I'm not sure if I'm really picking it up, but at that point where it will appear it's really herbal and everything. So maybe I'm picking it up. I'm just not quite sure. Now where I would see this fragrance, it is a summer business fragrance. It's a, it's a business fragrance for all year long but great fragrance for summer business fragrance. I would say it got a little bit of the power, but not like to a full extent like other fragrance, but it gets also a lot of class, even though it's something that you could dress down. I would say it's kind of in between. Got some power, got some class. It's really nice, especially in summer. It's a good business fragrance. As a dating fragrance, I don't think it'd be really good 
it smell really old school. So I would say that maybe if you're a bit older, like over 45, you could pull it off. I would say that the analysis I would give it is pretty much the same that I would give to the Racal Noir. Even though I say it also smells like Versace Lam, I would say that it has a lot of similarity to the Racal Noir to necessarily the null breakdown, not necessarily the scent profile totally but it's in the same family and it would have the same use. Now in the summer winter spectrum, could work in winter, wouldn't be the best. The smell wouldn't be like bad in winter, but projection wouldn't be like too crazy. In summer though, it would be great. Projection is a bit heavy, so you'll have to put a little bit less sprays, especially if it's really hot in summer, but it will be doing a great job in summer. And as an everyday scent, if you like old school fragrance, it would be a great scent. It smells, really special. If you analyze it, the note breakdown is really different from other note breakdown. There's some notes that usually you see as a top note that are in the dry down, like coriander, for example, or the other way around. It's really interesting. If you like old school fragrance, that's a good one to try and to wear every day. It's also it's cheap, it smells good, citrusy. People usually enjoy citrus smell, so it will be a good everyday fragrance. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, well, like and share. And if you ever tried this fragrance, tell me what you think about it. Also, if you tried any fragrance by Jeffrey Bean, tell me which one you prefer. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.